You're watching NBC News 5. We have a special report today. On this historic day, the Berlin Wall has fallen, and Berliners are rejoicing. NBC News at 5. Come home to the best, only on NBC. Breaking news. Deconstruction of the Berlin Wall has begun. After 28 years of a divided Berlin, there is much rejoicing in the newly united German city. Let's go to our reporter in Germany. Reporting live from Berlin, the city is absolutely chaotic with all the people cheering and shouting in response to the East decision to tear down the Berlin Wall. I have with me right now a Berliner who's excited as anyone else. How do you feel at this moment? Wie Sie in diesem Moment fühlen? Ich bin im Moment sehr aufgeregt. Ich freue mich auf die Wiedervereinigung der großen Stadt Berlin. Okay, well, he's saying that he's very excited at the moment and that he thinks the German people can now be united. Nach 28 Jahren der Unterdrückung durch das kommunistische Regime in Ostberlin kann das deutsche Volk endlich wieder zusammen. He told me that after 28 years of the communist oppression in East Berlin, the German people can finally come together again. How do you think this will affect the city of Berlin? Uh, wie denken Sie, wird dies die Stadt Berlin auswirken? Ich denke, dass es Berliner zusammen zu bringen und vereinen das Land Deutschland. Es wird auch dafür zeigen, dass die Freiheit gewinnt immer. He's saying that he thinks this will bring the Berliners together and reunite the country of Germany as a whole, and that this will show the world that Freedom always wins. Now, it seems that the city is very ecstatic about the fall of the wall. Back to the newsroom. Wow, this really is great news for America, Germany, and the world. Hopefully this will ease tensions between the Eastern Bloc and the Western world. The Berlin Wall was erected in 1961 to prevent East Germans from fleeing to the Democratic West under Allied control. The wall stretched 96 miles along the border dividing East and West Germany and towered 12 feet in the air. The wall was guarded and patrolled heavily by East German patrol towers. From the birth to the death of the Berlin Wall, it's gone through four different stages. The first stage was built on August 15, 1961 um, by the East German government. Uh, this wall was essentially large blocks of concrete extending along the border between East and West Germany and it wasn't very effective in terms of not allowing people across the border and this first generation then led into the second stage of the wall. The second stage um, was built in order to stop these people from escaping to the west and it was essentially the same as the first. Um, it was built in June 1962 and it just um, was essentially the same but it was a little bit more secure. And this second stage led into the third stage. The third stage was built in 1965. It was concrete slabs like the past two stages except they were located between steel girders and concrete posts with a concrete sewage pipe on top of the wall. This wall was much more effective than the previous two stages and it led into the fourth stage of the wall in 1975. This fourth stage was um, new, it featured new concrete segments that were, um, they were used because they were more easy to build up and they were more resistant to the breakthroughs that the people may have tried. This fourth um, stage is the one that is now there, um, right now, and it's being torn down. This controversial wall resulted in over 600 deaths of civilians trying to cross into the West. The tearing down of the wall will greatly impact history. Let's go now to our chief political correspondent to discuss how international relations will be affected. Hello, thanks for having me. It's nice to have you on air with us. Tell us. How do you see this event affecting the relations between the United States and the Soviet Union? Uh, well, the Soviet guards are really doing nothing to stop the deconstruction of the wall, and this shows that the Soviets really want to ease relations between America and the Soviet Union. This may signal a Soviet desire to bring about an end to the arms race. So, how do you think the American people now perceive the Soviet Union? Well, now I think Americans don't have to live in such a state of fear anymore. This deconstruction of the Berlin Wall is a telltale sign that the Soviets are wanting to warm up the peaceful relations with the U.S. The past few decades have just been such heated conflict, I think both Soviets and Americans are just sick of it. Alright, well, unfortunately we don't have enough time for another question, but thank you for your expertise. It is clear that citizens feel they can sleep safer in their beds tonight because the Soviet Union's control is dissolving. 
there will be no more unjust deaths added to the 600 plus fatalities that have come as a result of the shoot to kill policy held by the Soviet guards. East Germany is no longer under Soviet quarantine. Things can only get better from here. Good night and good luck. After 28 years of a uh, divided Berlin, dang on! Hello. What? Oh crap! This is me. <laughs> <laughs> there would be no more unjust deaths added to the shocking. <laughs> Let's do this again. Sorry. <laughs> there will be no more unjust deaths. Whatever. <laughs> okay, wait, let me pronounce this word because I'm just having problems with this. Okay, so there will be no more unjust deaths. Unjust deaths. Unjust deaths. Yeah. There will be no more unjust deaths. I have with me right now a Berliner who's excited as anyone else. How are you feeling at this moment? Wie Sie in diesem Moment fühlen? Ich bin im Moment sehr aufgeführt. German. <laughs> no, okay, okay. 